guys, welcome back. Once again, I come to you with a weird face because I've got brows, foundation, and no eyeshadow. I look like Oscar the Grouch. Oh my god, what are these muscles? They're so sore. I need to have a little chat with you guys today about why I'm not cruelty free anymore because uh, I think I need to clear a few things up, but I'm gonna be doing my eye makeup at the same time so this is not completely boring for you guys. I'm using this palette here. This is a limited edition Viper palette from Sigma. It's so bloody beautiful. It's got six shades, but they're absolutely massive. Like, look at them compared to my finger. Anyway, I love this palette, so I'm going to be using this today and doing like a wearable, smoky blue look, if you can believe that. So I'm not going to be explaining too much of what I'm doing for my makeup. I basically just wanted to have a little chat with you guys while I do my makeup. And I am getting my nails fixed tonight. They're looking pretty gross, so I'm so excited. My friend Kira, she lives where I live in Ireland and she does nails so if anybody needs nails done hit a girl up oh my god why am I speaking like that who do I think I am if you want your nails done let me know and I will pass on her details to you I'm just putting my base on right now I'm using the P Louise base like I have been doing recently it's sticky and it's good um so yeah guys I think I need to clear some things up for you because I never really have done this before and some people are getting the wrong idea of what it is that I stand for here on my channel. So I've been cruelty free on my channel for probably I think it's the last two or three years. Basically as soon as I went vegan or plant-based I decided to go cruelty free on my social media as well. I kind of just made the decision overnight and then I told my management and they said like okay if that's what you want to do you're going to miss out on a lot of brand deals and a lot of sponsorships because all the big money comes from the big brands like Maybelline, L'Oreal, that kind of thing that on animals and I was like no it's fine I'll be fine I'll make a living I can't ethically promote makeup that's being tested on animals and looking back I can see that I really kind of <laughs> it was a big decision that I made very fast because I did lose so many brand deals with companies that I had been working with previously and in the three years since I went cruelty free I've had to turn down hundreds of thousands of euros worth of brand deals from brands that still want to work with me that I won't accept and if I tell you that that doesn't take any self-discipline, I'd be lying because it's hard. Like when I'm saving so bloody hard to buy a house and paying two years of tax at the same time, I'm trying to feed six donkeys, four dogs and myself. It's like, it's difficult, but I do it. And I do it and I don't regret it because this is what I stand for. This is what I believe in. I recently did a video um, where I used the new Huda Beauty nudes palette and I had so many comments from people kind of saying like, oh, I thought you were cruelty free. Are you not cruelty free anymore? And then that was fine. Like, that's fair enough. I can just explain it to them. In fact, I did explain it at the end of the video. I literally knew I was going to get comments like that. So I did explain at the end of the video, yes, I am cruelty free. I'm aware that Huda Beauty beauty sells mink eyelashes so a lot of people wouldn't consider her brand cruelty free but because they don't test on animals that is kind of what cruelty free is it doesn't mean that the makeup is vegan it doesn't mean that there's no animal products in it it just means it hasn't been tested on animals if I was to use purely vegan makeup I would literally not be able to support myself doing makeup as a job anymore doing what I do and I've worked way too hard to shoot myself in the ass like that <laughs> or shoot myself in the foot what actually is that um expression <laughs> I'm probably coming across like really intense in this video um, and that's because I feel so strongly about this subject and yeah I've been getting a lot of comments that you guys haven't seen because I've just left them in hell for review because they've been quite abusive but a lot of people have been kind of abusing me in the comments because they don't think that I'm a good enough cruelty free makeup artist. I'm not doing a good enough job in their eyes. I shouldn't be using Huda Beauty. I shouldn't be using any brands like Urban Decay or Too Faced that are owned by parent brands that do test on animals. Like I really can't win in this situation because I wonder like would these same people when faced with having to turn down so much money in job opportunities to stick to their ethics, would they be able to do it? Like they're out there judging me, but I'm doing this every week. You guys don't get to see that obviously because I'm not going to publicize every time I turn down a big brand deal but it happens <laughs> and then I see someone else who's not a cruelty free influencer doing the job that I was offered and I'm like oh like I really need that money I would have loved to do that job I just wish that brand wouldn't sell in China which is the majority of why I can't use brands because they sell in China and Chinese law is that if a product is imported into China but not made in China then the Chinese government will test those products on animals so that means I can't accept jobs from Maybelline, L'Oreal, uh, I won't use NARS makeup anymore or I won't promote it, Chanel I used to work for Chanel I wouldn't work for Chanel now because again they sell in China um, all these big like MAC they are not cruelty free they sell in China 
China. Who else did I used to use a lot of? Rimmel. A lot of the drugstore brands that are really big, they are not cruelty free, even though they would try and trick you into believing that they are. They do indeed test on animals when required by law. That's what you need to look at. So I'm out here basically doing the best job I can do to be fair to myself and to be fair to the animals and it's still not good enough for some people and I'm just like, why are you giving me a hard time? Like, why don't you go and try and encourage an influencer who's not at all cruelty free and who still uses brands that sell in China and do test on animals? Why don't you go and spend your energy encouraging them to go cruelty free rather than abusing me when I'm already trying to do my best? <laughs> Sorry guys, I should have told you. I just was going in with that that shade there is called Hypnotize all over my lid and now I'm going in with this dark brown here called Adder and I'm using a Sigma E25. The way I see it and like this is basically my stance in the whole cruelty free realm. The way I see it I will still use brands like Urban Decay and Too Faced um, and The Body Shop because even though their parent brand does test their products on animals, the brand that I'm using itself does not test. So even though the parent brand, which is like an umbrella brand and they might own lots of other brands, even though this is probably sounding so confusing because I'm not explaining it very well, but even though they may test on animals, the particular brand that I use does not test their products on animals. And so I will still use them because the way I see it is that that parent brand will then see that their cruelty free brands are doing better than the brands that test on animals which will hopefully get them around to the way of thinking that okay if we pull our products from China and make them cruelty free those brands will make a lot of money because what it boils down to at the end of the day is money everything is money okay <laughs> if these cruelty free brands that are owned by parent companies that test on animals are making money for that parent brand they're more likely to make their other brands cruelty free as well do you get what I'm saying so that's the way I look at it that's how I think of it this is what I believe you may think differently and that's perfectly fine I'm not going to try and change your way of thinking um, but you're also not going to be able to change my way of thinking this is my theory and this is what I'm gonna do so if you don't agree with me that's fine but I mean I'm not gonna change my way of thinking this is how I see it and I think your time would be better spent instead of abusing me going and kindly nicely encouraging other influencers that love animals to maybe look into going cruelty free because imagine how much change us beauty gurus influencers could make if we all went cruelty free I feel like that would make such a a great impact. These eyeshadows are so bloody blendable, like I'm barely doing anything and they just blend out like a dream. How's my lighting by the way guys? Ever since I moved house and changed my whole filming setup, like I haven't changed my lighting or my camera or anything, but because I'm in a different room and the background is different, it has changed and I've been trying to get it so that my camera is recording in good quality again because a lot of people have said my camera, like my video quality has gone down and I can, like I don't understand this ISO f-stop aperture exposure business, like cameras are just I don't understand anything about them. All I know how to do is press take for take a photo and record. That's basically all I can do. But Darren was mucking around with it and then I was mucking around with it. So I'm hoping that this will be good, what you're watching right now. But let me know down below what you think. Is it too bright? Is it too dark? Let me know what you think. Let me know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so when it comes to brands that sell mink eyelashes but don't test on animals, obviously I know that mink eyelashes are not cruelty free. These minks are not... They're not kept in nice little farms where they're brushed sweetly and nicely every day and they have a lovely life. As much as a brand will lead you to think that that's what happens, that is not what happens. If you just Google it, you'll actually see minks are vicious. Minks don't like people. It would be impossible to kindly and sweetly and nicely brush a mink. The mink would probably try and attack you. They don't want to be brushed. So to say that like your mink eyelashes are made from like well-treated minks that live on a farm, I'm sorry, that's bullshit. I would never knowingly use or promote mink eyelashes. However, if a brand sells faux eyelashes, like faux mink eyelashes that is just made from like synthetic hair, absolutely I'll use them because I see it the same way as what I said about the parent companies. Hopefully then that brand will see that, oh hey, our synthetic hair eyelashes are doing better than our real hair eyelashes. The money's being made by the synthetic hair eyelashes, so that's what we're going to focus on and we're going to scrap the real hair eyelashes. Basically, because it's all about money, what it boils down to is if you can show these brands that their cruelty-free products 
are doing well and making money, that's what they're going to focus on. And then in theory, in time, they'll just kind of scrap their non-cruelty free products altogether if they're not making money. Now I'm going in with this blue shade here. It's called Sinister. It's like a duochrome pressed sparkly pigment. And I'm just going to go in with my finger and pack that onto the mobile lid. This palette's awesome because it's got so many like nude kind of natural matte shades in it that you can use for everyday like work or uni or whatever makeup. And then it's got these like crazy duochrome pigments in it as well so you can make your look far more like artsy and rock and roll. Now I can't remember what I was talking about. I was like too involved in my blue eyeshadow and I've forgotten what I was talking about. <laughs> I think we're actually getting somewhere, you know, like um, my sacrifices and other people's sacrifices that are kind of staying true to their ethics and staying true to what they believe is right in the world. We are having an impact. I'm not just talking about influencers here. I'm talking about all you guys that are only purchasing cruelty-free makeup, you are all making an impact because CoverGirl recently went cruelty-free, which I think is absolutely amazing, so commendable, and we should all go out and buy their products now. In fact, I've got to do a massive CoverGirl haul because I want to do a full face of CoverGirl makeup now that they're cruelty-free because they're affordable as well. But that was such a giant step for them, and I'm just praying that that means, like, it's a sign that other brands are going to follow suit as well. If other brands can see that CoverGirl is making good money since they went cruelty free, other brands are going to do it as well. Like I said, it all boils down to money. That's that's the business. So it's up to us if we don't want these rabbits and these beagles, because it's not just rabbits that companies test on, it's beagles, the dogs as well. If we don't want that to happen, we are the ones that vote with our money. So if you continue to buy brands that test on animals, they will continue to test on animals. And if we start buying brands Brands that don't test on animals and they're making money, other companies are more likely to follow suit. Okay, this blue is epic. Epic! Oh, another brand that I get questioned about all the time is Zoeva. Sometimes I will use Zoeva makeup products because their makeup products are really beautiful um, and they're not tested on animals. However, a lot of their brushes are made with real animal fur and similar to the mink thing, these are animals and not kept as pets and lovingly brushed. They are basically tortured and their fur is ripped from them. No matter what these companies would have you believe, it's not like that. So I won't use real animal fur brushes. And you know what? You know why I love Sigma so much? Is because they used to have animal fur brushes, but one of the founders of Sigma, um, Simone, she used to be a vet as well. She loves animals. And so she decided that they were no not gonna use animal fur in their brushes anymore. And instead, her and her husband, who both own Sigma designed brushes that have these Sigma Tech brush hairs and they actually designed the brush hairs themselves and these brush hairs mimic animal hair so they perform so well, they pick up product really well but they're synthetic so no animals are harmed and your brushes are still amazing. So that's another reason I love Sigma so much. So if we support brands like that and not buy brands who use real animal furs brushes, do you know what I'm trying to say? Then brands like Sigma will do better and other brands will make cruelty-free brushes as well. I'm just going in with the two matte browns that I used at the start on a Sigma E25 and shading that underneath my eye. I want to know how many of you guys are cruelty-free. Let me know in the comments down below if you only use and buy cruelty-free makeup. Um, and let me know down below if you don't use and buy cruelty-free makeup and you still support brands that do test on animals. Not because I want to yell at you or anything, I'm just interested to know like how many of you guys that watch me are actually cruelty-free as well. I'm just taking this little brush here to see Sigma E55 dense um, pushing brush, that's what I call it, but it's actually the eye shading brush. I'm going back in with that blue and I'm going to press that directly under my lower lash line, just like here in the middle. <laughs> Once again, I just got loads in my eye. <laughs> Why do I do it? Do you know what's a weird thing about my eyes? My eyes are blue, or they're kind of like grey blue, but when I wear blue eyeshadow, my eyes look green, and when I wear green eyeshadow, my eyes look blue. What's that all about? I'm just taking another, this is an E20 short shader, and the highlight I'm using and also wearing on my cheekbones is Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlight. I love, 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 love Ofra highlights. They are the best.
My brain is off with fairies today, guys. I've got so much I need to like get done before Christmas, as I'm sure you all do. This is such a hectic time of year. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I'm gonna do a faux liner. If you guys haven't seen my faux liner tutorial, I'll put it up here for you guys, and I'll be back with you in one second. So my eye makeup is finished. I just popped some eyelashes on as well. I'll link all the products I've got on my face, including my lips, down below for you guys, because I always get asked what I have on my lips, and it's usually always the same lipstick. So basically, that's all I had to say. I hope that kind of clears some things up for you guys. Yes, I do use cosmetics from brands that are owned by parent companies that do test on animals. I do use products from brands that sell mink eyelashes, but I wouldn't use the mink eyelashes, I wouldn't use the animal hair brushes, and I wouldn't use any makeup that is tested on an animal. I've told you my reasons, that's my stance on it, that's what I believe in. I know I'm still gonna get comments down below from people that think that I shouldn't call myself cruelty free, from people that say I'm not doing a good enough job, from people that are more cruelty free than me or better vegans than me. I mean, the fact of the matter is I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm not out here to live up to anybody else's standards. I'm just living my life, doing my job, trying to help people, trying to help animals, trying to put food on the table the way that everybody else is. This is the way I do it. I fully understand that some people may do things differently to me. I know that some people would never use anything that is owned by a parent brand test on animals. I know some people would never use a product from a brand that sells mink eyelashes, but I've explained to you now my stance on it. This is the way I see it, and this is what I will continue to do. So I hope that clears a few things up for you guys. I hope you like my makeup today. I really, really love blue eyeshadow. I know some people think it's like very dated, very 80s, but I just think it's so flattering on so many different eye shapes. Eye shapes? Eye shades. Eye colors. Like I said, I'll link everything down below for you guys. Let me know in the comments, are you cruelty free, or do you still use makeup from brands that do test on animals. Let's not be mean to each other in the comments. That's going to get nobody anywhere except make people feel sad. And this is not a channel where we make people feel sad. So let's all be nice to each other in the comments down below. And if anybody has any questions, either I'll try and answer them and like clear a few things up for you guys. Um, and if any of you guys watching see a question and you think you could possibly educate someone or clear something up or answer someone's question, feel free to do so. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow night, I think, for another video. Mwah!